So we got some breaking news here in the Transformer world. It looks like this week is just not letting up on news and information about our beautiful Transformer brand. We have some updated computer listings from Walmart and Target in relation to what is happening for the mid-2023 lineup of Transformers Legacy product. Uh, this comes courtesy of JT Prime 17, who has been reliable in the past for going through these computer archives and UPC code listings and AEN codes and pretty much just pulling them up so we could all take a look and see. So let's go through these. Uh, we got some Velocitron Wave 2 listings, and we have a whole bunch of Transformers Legacy Wave 4 and Wave 5 for mid-2023. So first we have a Transformers Legacy Velocitron Deluxe Class Shadow Striker. Now, this is probably going to be an original mold, maybe. The problem is, is that the Velocitron line, because it's a exclusive line, most of their stuff that they, that they have is repaints and retools. Sure, we get the one or two brand new molds in it, but so far most of it, with the exception of what we've seen already before with Cosmos, everything up to this point has been some kind of repaint retool. Maybe in the case of Shadow Striker, she might be another one of those. Who that mold will be, we don't know. We have so many. We have so many car-based vehicles in that deluxe price point because of the Stunticons. Take your pick, literally of whatever you feel because i mean if you look historically with shadow striker it goes all the way back to bacon and that was a repaint retool one of the first ever repaint retools of that era um of the dodge viper from car robots robots in the sky sideburn so do they want to pull from that and maybe use i don't know dead end perhaps that when we do get dead end in uh in legacy who knows that's something that if I had to take a guess, she's going to probably be a repaint retool and it's probably going to use one of those Stunticon molds. That's just my take. I could be wrong, but judging by how the Velocitron line is, that's kind of more what they're going to do. Next up, we got Velocitron Deluxe Class Crasher. This is absolutely fascinating because from many different angles, number one, it's the GoBot character. Number two, it's the Crasher trademark. Last time that that character was visited by Transformers in any capacity was back in the Transformers 2008 movie line when it was called Fracture and it was just a repaint of Classics Mirage. So if they could do something that really invokes that of the original Crasher design from the Challenge of the GoBots cartoon and gives us yet again another female character, that'd be fantastic. The question is, again, is it going to be a brand new sculpt? Or are they going to take one of the many cars that we have already from the Stunticons and really make use of those molds? Because they're going to have to do something with those molds. I get a feeling it's probably going to be the Stunticons, unfortunately. And I get a feeling it might be, dare I say, drag strip. Oh, I know. I know it kills me. But that's a sad truth, really. But I think it's going to be something like that. I think they're just going to use those Stunticon molds, just like with Sky Shadow. Excuse me, uh, Shadow Striker. I think that they're just going to look at that that wave of cars that they have and they have to do something with them and the Velocitron line being a exclusive and how most exclusives really are repaints and retools, that's probably unfortunately going to be the case. And speaking of repaint retools, here's one that's obviously going to be one and that's a Voyager class Velocitron Legacy Hot Rod. Now, my boy Hot Rod, what is he going to get repainted into in this this time? It's clearly going to be the Studio Series 86 mold because it's a Voyager Hot Rod. But is it going to be a black repaint? Are they going to waste the black repaint on this instead of doing a, a shattered glass you know, black Rodimus? Are they going to just do a black Rodimus lost light color scheme that's kind of a black with purple with some blues on this? Are they going to do a, you know, Acom Studios, Target Master, Masterpiece, weird color scheme with this instead and maybe take away some of the accessories and include a Target Master or, you know, a Battle Master in this case? Could be that. 
could be some weird, you know, hard on the red and the yellow and less on the magenta and go for an alternate kind of color scheme. There's one of many ways they could go about this. But color me intrigued, and considering how much I love the Velocitron line, how much I love Speedia, how much I love Nitro Convoy, adding my boy Hot Rod to the mix, sign me up. <laughs> That's all I got to say. I'm interested, and I'm excited. Now let's talk about Legacy itself, the actual retail line, and its mid-2023 lineups of Wave 4 and Wave 5. So let's start with the core class. So we have a core class sound blaster. So that's pretty much pretty obvious what that's going to be. It's going to be a black repaint of our core class sound wave that we got from Kingdom. Pretty cut and dry that one. The only question is, is the tape cassette going to be now repainted like Ratbat, repainted like Buzzsaw? We don't know, but that probably the tape cassette on the inside too will get some kind of different character color scheme. We got two Dinobots also in the core class here, a core class Slug and a core class Sludge. I guess they're uh, building up a little micro Dinobot army, so our core class Shockwave that we're going to be getting in the future is going to have someone to fight. Uh, chances are these guys are also going to come with accessories and weapons to build weapons again with that Shockwave and probably the Blaster, not the Blaster, the Sound Blaster. So should be interesting to see what they do with those again. All we could do is speculate right now with these listings. We have a Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Needle Nose. This one's interesting. Uh, the last Needle Nose toy we got was the 2016 Transformers Collector Club one. I worked on that toy. I actually wrote the bio and everything on that one and with his little Target Master buddies. So it's nice to see the Needle Nose trademark getting refreshed again. Uh, it was refreshed in 2021, and, well, now they're going to do something with it. Uh, it's a deluxe class and he turns into a jet. So, I mean, the original needle nose was an F 16 XL, if I remember correctly. And then of course, you know, the TF club one that I worked on, they just used one of those, uh, aerial bot molds. So he could have been any jet he needed to be just based on that mold. So, I mean, he's pretty much going to be a jet. Uh, it's going to be the first jet in legacy and let, you know, it's going to be a brand new mold. I'm going to assume and then they're probably going to milk that jet like crazy for a whole bunch of other repaint retools down in the future. So Needle Nose is probably going to be the foundation of many future toys that we're going to get afterwards and characters uh, in that price point for flight-based characters. Let's talk about the next deluxe here. This is another exciting one, Hot Shot. Now, is it Armada Hot Shot? Is it Energon Hot Shot? Is it Cybertron Hot Shot? Is it Animated Hot Shot? Maybe, maybe animated hotshot, maybe Transformers Prime hotshot. That was a blue repaint of, you know, Prime Bumblebee with the goggles and everything. Maybe it's movie hotshot, you know, which is also kind of a blue repaint from, um, from, uh, what's his name there? Point blank, you know, so, excuse me, crosshairs. So, I mean, it's, it's something where it's like, which hotshot is this? Which hotshot? I'm very intrigued. Is it Unicron Trilogy? Is it animated? If it is Unicron Trilogy, which one? I mean, we already got an Armada Hotshot update many years ago through the Universe line and Generations, uh, but we never got an update of, like, let's say, Energon or Cybertron, so maybe those guys. But me, let me tell you something. If we get an animated Hotshot, which is long overdue because that toy never happened, that would be amazing, just between you and me. I hope you're listening, Hasbro. <laughs> Next up in the deluxe class, we have a Junkion 1. Now, this one could be just an extensive repaint retool of our RC and Road Rocket mold that we already got. That's a strong possibility. Or maybe they just want to make a motorcycle in that deluxe price point that's brand new, and then they could use that motorcycle sculpt for something else, maybe for a future sideways or something. Who knows? But again, a Junkion is coming at some point. Another army builder that I'm sure people will love to add to the, all the other Junkions, like the Voyagers that we got in Studio Series 86. Let's jump into the Voyager price point. Starting off with a bang here. Tarn. IDW Tarn. Long overdue. Absolutely fantastic. If the only sad news with it's now, it's going to somewhat take the wind out of the sail 
of the Super 7 Tarn that was done. Mind you, it comes with nickel, so it's still kind of unique, the Super 7 one. But uh, now we got a transformable Tarn. It's a Voyager price point, so there's a little more budget there for it to be fantastic. I hope it comes with a rem removable mask and stuff. That is really cool. That's exciting. That tells us that even with Legacy, we could have throwbacks to old IDW designs. That's really awesome. Next up, Voyager Class Lyo Prime, a.k.a. Lyo Convoy. So Beast Wars love here. We got some Beast Wars love from Lyo Convoy. Is it going to be 100% based on the original Lyo Convoy from Beast Wars 2, Beast Wars 2, uh, and kind of stay slavishly loyal to that design in the Voyager price point? That would be kind of interesting to see because we've had the original toy, which was kind of a, I want to call it an ultra class for back then or, or a leader by today's standards. Uh, then we had the Robot Master, which was like a very small version of it that did an okay job. And then we had the Masterpiece that was pretty fantastic, too. So it'd be really cool to get something that's a Voyager that could be kind of a, for an affordable market today because all the Lyo Primes, with the exception of, you know, repaints, we had like one that was done from uh, Leo Breaker and stuff like that. And then, of course, we had some ex convention exclusive Lyo Primes. It'd be nice to get something that's a little more retail affordable for people if they want to engage with that character from the Beast Wars Second World. And again, you know, Beast Wars is going to be the hotness in 2023, so you want to bring some of those characters into the retail market, even if it is the Japanese Beast Wars stuff. Pretty exciting. And here's another interesting one with a little bit of a twist of a story. It's our leader class, and our leader class is Transformers Prime Skyquake. Now, what's interesting about that is Skyquake and Transformers Prime was the brother of Dreadwing, who was like the main featured character in the show, Prime Dreadwing. He was his brother who died. And his toy had a very limited end of wave release as a Voyager class in the Transformers Prime line in the West and almost didn't even see retail, got very limited release and goes for crazy money today in the secondary market. Now people will be able to get an opportunity to get that character Granted, it won't be that original toy. It'll be a leader class, and chances are, if we're getting a Prime Skyquake, at some point we're probably going to see the Dreadwing repaint in the future afterwards. So that's pretty cool. And again, if you want to like really go down the rabbit hole, he's kind of a little bit of a, a little bit of a uh, Machine Wars Starscream looking guy too. So maybe they could even like retool and, and give us some Machine Wars love. We don't have any of that so far in Legacy, but maybe that's asking too much. But very interesting leader class prime skyquake that right away tells us two toys and one in a lot of ways but it's interesting that they're starting with the one that had the least amount of screen time and also was a very difficult figure to get and last but not least leader class armada megatron which i think deserves to be in the leader class you could put all those bells and whistles all that armada love i can't wait to talk about Ar with aaron archer with this because aaron archer designed from the ground up and veneered the original leader class armada megatron so that's pretty cool to see that and i know i saw a lot of people in my discord talking and, and excited about this and one idea that they suggested which perfectly makes sense is hey where do we put that that armada optimus prime mold that we saw kicking around since wonder festival two years ago well put him in that commander class and we're away to go so we'll see what happens with that. I'm not saying that that's our commander, but that's one really good idea. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Pretty hype stuff, but this is all legit information. Again, I'll post the uh, I'll post the the EAN codes and stuff like that and everything. But this is pretty cool. So this is going to be our 2023 product. A lot of good diversity there and mixing. I really hope that's our that's animated hotshot. I think more than anything out of everything here is what's happening with that hotshot. Is that animated hotshot? I mean, that Velocitron hot rod, that's cool and all, but what's happening with that hotshot? Is that animated? Let's make Derek proud. Rest in peace, Derek. Let's make Derek proud. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Pretty ice, pretty pretty crazy stuff here. And uh looks like tomorrow's Saturday night live stream is going to be ridiculously packed with stuff to talk about. I hope to see you there tomorrow, Saturday night, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We're going to talk about the craziness of Transformers, everything that happened this week. 
and then some. Talk to you soon.